Is that a mannequin? Oh my gosh. Butter. Feels like butter, but <laughs> we got all the bearings here. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at a new color scheme here. So these are the tension adjustment knobs. Nuts, whatever you want to call it. Came out really nice in ABS. So let's uh, take a look at the assembly. That's so satisfying. I still use a blade to take these off. And let's take a look at our belt tension assembly. Yeah, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at the color scheme. So it should go pretty close to flush. And then the push push slash goes in here. And uh, the ooze plate or a bib, nozzle bib goes in here. Magnets go in here. So guess what? I'm using this for traction. So the uh, cool thing is I'm using magnetic IDEX to its fullest. And in the future, I might add two of these to the machine to an expanded gantry. So I have four tool heads driven by magnets everywhere. I think that's just wild. My kids say that this looks like a camera. So smile, you're on camera. And so it's very easy to work with. I printed these differently now. So the redesign was that it prints like so. And therefore it's uh, very easy to feed the belt through. Before when I was printing like that, I was bridging and just not not making a nice surface here, but uh, printing like this was uh, the ultimate solution. I love the yellow, I love this happy color combination. Looks like a kid's toy, but uh, we are pretty serious here. So, super excited about this addition or an upgrade in the magnetic IDEX. As they say, everything old is new again and we are refurbishing or rejuvenating an old uh, replicator clone so i'm very excited about that um, i think there's a place for every type of printer every type of gantry and the replicators have gotten kind of left behind so i want to resurrect it a little bit i think there are a lot of advantages to the gantry to the motion system and um yeah i'm very happy about it bringing this back to life in many ways i think the print quality and speeds can be superior to even core xy machines which are extremely popular even though funny thing is it took what 12 plus years for core xy to become mainstream and so um i think there's going to be a little bit of a of a resurrection or a renaissance for these little printers and they don't have to be very little either uh, i can switch this to a 10 or 12 millimeter rod and hang two gantries on it three gantries whatever and make a super factory in my own home so i think that's pretty exciting so enough rambling uh let's uh go on to the next part all right let's see what's in the oven the plate is too hot to touch Right. We'll take a look. Too eager to take it off. Too hot. Uh, let me grab something. Yes, I'm a baby. There we go. That looks nice and flat. Beautiful. I can go back in the printer. So this is our latest print. Again, this is done with zero cooling, so this is to be expected. There's going to be a little bit of cleanup that needs to happen. So, I'll just... Uh, zero cooling and no... no uh, nothing printed in this area. It's a very small uh, piece of plastic at this point. I should have uh, teardropped it. 
but it's, it's going to clean up nicely. I'll probably not even show this on camera, but let's clean this a little bit just so that I can make it large enough for the stepper motor to fit. The stepper motor needs to. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I I don't have that much of a hard time to fit the stepper motor. <laughs> I did not make it, you not give it enough room. I need to put a slot in here or in here. Now the motor is sitting like so. So I guess I need to slot this. This becomes virtually useless. But I'm going to cut it through so I can fit any size stepper. Let's see if I can make it in with a little bit of flex. Like so. And it's not coming out easily, so that's fine. And uh, that's my stepper. The, axle, the uh, pulley will press on here. Where's the D? There. Get a good look at it and pop it in. Yeah, if you don't have one of these kits, they're really nice. Uh, I got this on Amazon. Double check the length so at least, is that like a 7 millimeter? I could go probably longer. And it's not too critical. Let me make sure I don't bottom out. Oh, and then the uh, the really fun feature. I'm just starting. Yeah, looks like that's a good length. So, and then the other screw comes in right in there through this pocket. So it's kind of neat because all you do is you drop the screw in here it's too long for this one I'll just go to uh, the next size down you drop the screw in the pocket flipped so you can, when it falls in there you have to make sure it drops in correctly so I don't know if you can see it it's inside here and then I come in from here uh, with the tool catch it and drive the screw right in. So I didn't have to put a massive hole here. I just have a Allen key in. So again, I position parts where I want them and then design uh, the holder, the frame around it. And I just needed a little bit of course correction. It fits, tightened, tightened. We'll find out what else I, I'm missing. This one can only be tightened through here, which is nice. So that's the motor assembled. The bearings come in here. Uh, I will have an extra piece here retaining the bearings. Uh, but uh, right now that's the idea. Let me grab the push-push ledge that goes in here. One ledge. Looks a little beat up. I don't know if it'll any good but uh, you saw this is straight off the print and we're going to plug this right in a little tight so I think I may have a little bit of an elephant's foot let me just grab that it's interesting on the yellow block that was not an issue let's see yeah so it's just a little bit of that. And if you look at the connection, let's see if I can show it what we got on camera. So it'll come in park. Come in park. So this is pretty rigid, pretty nice and secure. To remove it, you have to put in two flat pieces of metal. I found a paper clip bent in a horseshoe shape, worked well. So you can 
there's two tabs that need to be flexed to remove it so it's not coming out easily or without breaking that's nice and secure and then here we have the optical end stop screws on here so let me grab a tiny little m3 so line it up and drive it in it'll bottom out against my thumb and uh, there's enough room for that oh yeah it's not pivoting it's not tilting so i have my wires here's the connector here's the connector for the stepper not too bad and uh, the whole thing let's uh, take a look at how much the whole thing weighs this is 181 grams 180 grams 180 and then my idle side but let's see as is it comes in at 62 grams let's see if i can put the last few pieces on here uh, for the weight so together we're at 247 and um yeah that's a good start next step is to assemble the gantry 